Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the gaming channel, Despones. Uh, today we are talking more about my Minecraft server and more specifically um, some additions that I've recently added to the server to make it much more competitive and generally just more fun than it previously was. So the main addition that I'll be talking about today is what is called the Leaderboard Challenge, um, which is a new exclusive plugin for the server that you won't find on anyone else's server. So. I'm really excited to see where this takes it and hopefully makes it a ton more competitive uh, just in general. Um, but what the plugin does is essentially allows you to see the top three players of any PvP combat categories. So uh, those categories are Hung Games wins and kills, uh, Sky Wars wins and kills, and overall PvP, which measures your kills and death ratio. So as you can see, there are already some players on the leaderboard, and one of the great things about the leaderboard stats is that they're actually live updating. So whenever you kill someone in game, no matter what we're World you're on, uh, your stats will automatically update the signs on every leaderboard cross world, which is awesome. Awesome! Also, while the sign leaderboard here only shows the top three players in any category, you can also do the command slash C stats in game, um, and that will show you the, your kills, your deaths, your wins in uh, mini games, as well as your rank and where you sit next to other players. So um, you'll see here that I am currently rank 11, even though I only have one kill and one death. So I kind of really blow at this, but you can also kind of see that it, it would be really really easy for me to get that number up if I just would, you know, try a little bit harder. So along with the new leaderboard plugin, there's actually a new challenge that goes with it. So not only is your leaderboard position something that you can brag to your friends about, but also the top player in each category at the end of the month will also get exclusive prizes and perks that no one else in the server gets. One of the perks being $5,000 in-game money. Um, I wish it was real money, but unfortunately I am not a billionaire. So um, sorry guys, just had to had to deal with the in-game money, my bad. The next prize you get is uh, vaults in the vault storage bank, and you also get free wireless banking, so you can access it wherever you want. Also, in case you don't know what vault banking is, it's another awesome custom plugin that uh, was only specifically on the server, so if you want to know more about that, you can find it at this annotation right here. Um, but yes, it is a very, very awesome plugin, and um, definitely another reason to come and check out the server. And the last prize that you get is exclusive god bow powers. So god bow powers are really interesting um, additions to the server that make it so you could just do crazy, crazy things with your bows, like shoot poison and fucking wither skulls at people, uh, machine gun bows, so just fires arrows rapidly at people. Uh, but just as a little preview, I'll show you guys the god bow powers that you specifically get from just the leaderboard challenge. So the first bow that you can get from the Sky Wars category is called the Curse Bow, and um, what this does is it's it won't do anything really cool if I show you here. Um, but if it hits any like entities like uh, zombies or even other players, it'll show that they're cursed. And I'm not exactly sure what the curses do. I think there's like a couple of different ones. So um, don't really quote me on this, but I do know that the curses are really gross. Um, I think some of them sap health um, and heal you. I think other ones just make them nauseous and shit. So it's definitely really, really cool. Um, the next bow that you get from Hunger Games wins is called the Lightning Bow. And this one is really gross because um, whenever you shoot an arrow, it also uses uh, one glowstone dust to shoot lightning. So you'll see that if I try to strike this tree, it just fucking lit it on fire. Um, with lightning. So if you hit another player with this, not only does it deal extra damage from the lightning, but it also can fuck them up because of the fire that pops up from it too. So this was really, really fun. And not only that, but you know, it's always really scary when lightning goes off in Minecraft. So if you are that asshole that just keeps you know, making lightning go off, then people are gonna hate you for it, which is a good thing. <laughs> then the last bow that you get from the overall PvP is called the Undead Bow, and the Undead Bow is one of my favorites because it spawns a ton of undead zombie creatures when uh, the arrow impacts. So this one's really fun if you are like, let's say you're really high up and you see like uh, another player like down low somewhere, because the zombies will attack you if you're close enough to it. So with this one, I'll just say, you know, be careful, try to stay your distance from, from the fucking zombies, but uh, this one utilizes 64 rotten flesh each time you shoot an arrow, so make sure that you have a lot of rotten flesh, and there definitely is some vendors in the server that sell them, um, but this is definitely a really, really awesome bow, as I will show you here.
And um, the last bow that you can possibly get is called the Airship Bow, and this um, one you can unlock by getting all of the rest of the bows. So if you get the number one category on all three of them, it doesn't have to be all in the same month, but let's say just in the history of you playing this game and on this server, if you get all three of them at one time, you can get the Airship Bow. And the Airship Bow is hands down my favorite bow in the game, and it is definitely the most fun that I've ever had playing Minecraft, ever. And I know you're probably like, well, what the fuck could it possibly do to be so fun? Um, and this is what it does. So no matter where you shoot your arrow, your body will follow it. So if you shoot your bow straight in the fucking air, your body will follow it. And the best part about it is, you don't take fall damage when you fall back down. And also, as you probably just saw, you can also continuously shoot the arrows, like that way, back that way, over that way. Oh, look, I'm falling. Oh no. Nope. So this bow is insanely powerful. It's not really, I wouldn't consider it a combat bow, but holy fucking shit is it a fun bow. Like. I seriously have never had this much fun in Minecraft. This is what I live for, is this shit. So, um, that is the last bow that you can get um, from winning all three categories. It is insanely, insanely fun. And uh, that one utilizes feathers, um, so you'll see that in my inventory I actually have uh, 64 feathers. I think also there is a vendor that, you know, sells uh, feathers in the server somewhere. So those are pretty much all of the uh, rewards that you get from the leaderboard challenge. Um, if you do want to see any more of the rewards you can get, you can do slash rewards in game. And that will show you not only uh, all the rewards that you can get from the leaderboard challenge, but as well as all of the rules for it. And the rules are, you know, pretty self-explanatory. I won't go into them super deeply right now, but, you know, the rules are like, you know, don't cheat, don't have someone kill you over and over, or kill someone, the same person over and over. The the things will be checked at the end of the month to see if they're legitimate. legitimate. So save us a fucking headache and just don't cheat, all right? Sounds great. So that is pretty much all what the leaderboard challenge is. It is a great addition to the server, and I'm so very stoked. Thank you so much to Mitch um, for making this plugin for me specifically. Um, it is something that I've wanted for a long, long time, and I'm so glad that it is finally here, and uh, we could finally get stoked about all the fucking prizes that you can get from the leaderboard, as well as just, it's so much more competitive now on the server, um, because like before there was no really incentive to play Hunger Games, there was no incentive to do Sky Wars, and there was no incentive really to kill other players, except for, you know, now that we have factions. But before that, there was nothing. There was no real reason to do any of that. And now there is. And I am so fucking happy about it. So um, that said, guys, I guess I will see you next time. But definitely come up on the server. Um, if you want to check out the server, the IP address will be in the description down below. Um, and yeah, guys, I hope to see you on here very soon. And hopefully we can do this in the sky. All, all of us together. Just woo! This is so fucking great. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. So fair winds.